man. Man cave, woman cave, what are we calling this place? Oh, this is a man cave for <laughs> sure. Yeah, this is all about you, babe, in the basement here. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Better South. And we're coming right back to where we started this project with you guys a while mm -hmm. ago. I think you even had it. Where's your golf club? I know, I forgot my props cover because the uh, simulator's not quite finished yet. Okay. So. Uh, welcome to the lower level of Blackberry Hill Road and wanted to walk you guys through some of the fun little details that we've mm -hmm. collaborated with and let's start right here with our cool little wall paneling that uh, that you designed. Yeah, so this is all white oak. It complements the floor and the cool thing about the paneling here is it breaks up. We were just going to do all this. This is just like a two by two white oak mm -hmm. material and we wanted something to break it up just a little bit. So. This was actually a wood veneer plywood that we made into kind of some elongated panels. I love it. Yeah, it's really warm. And we bumped out. These are thicker. These are uh, just white oak solid material here. And then Gretchen picked out the cool little Yeah, we brass. did a two-tone um, electrical plugs. Because we knew we weren't going to have much furniture down here, so we really wanted mm -hmm. the millwork to speak. And I think it's talking to me. Yeah, and my dad's got a fun uh, vintage pinball machine. I know. Which I, we're going to work on getting refurbished, and I think it'll tuck right in here and be perfect for this space. So in between shots in the golf room, we can... This uh, is definitely just going to be a fun, entertaining spot. We're looking forward to having this for having, you know, friends over and our boys having their friends over, and hopefully they'll just want to congregate and hang out at our house since they're all teenagers. <laughs> I know. And then you found this cool hula light from uh, Martin, Martin Bullard. Martin Bullard, yeah. Uh, uh, we, which... Yeah, we found this, and I, I thought it was, it kind of went with the vibe here. We kind of have a little bit of a mid-century yeah. modern vibe going on in this this basement, so it kind of just thought that was kind of a funky, cool light yeah, to go Yeah, because no here. crown molding, and it really, you know, the white oak, we ended up just sealing it with a water-based mm -hmm. matte finish sealer just to protect the wood. And you did paint behind the walls black. We did, so just a little hint of black back there, just to highlight that. And then, so going back, there's a bedroom back mm -hmm. there and bathroom and storage room, but again, didn't want to have too much of a good thing, so we just kind of went yeah. halvesies on this one here again, <laughs> yeah. and just did a little wainscoting of just the, uh, the one by material. Right. And then did the nice cased openings in the thick uh, white oak banding. Yep. And then a little TV. Just a little TV. So this is <laughs> this is where I always lose my battles. But this is where I'm willing to lose the battle is in the basement. And um, yeah, here's just the little TV screen yeah. that you picked out. <laughs> well, and instead of building a traditional bookcase mm -hmm. or felt, felt wall or something, I was like, there's got to be a cool way. And you know, I'd seen originally was going to do the one by just the square material. And then we just came up with the idea to do this. It's what it is. It's a two inch crown mold and we've just put it on the wall. Mm -hmm. So pretty simple white oak again. Yeah. It's and like a cove detail. Yeah, it's a cove molding mm -hmm. and we couldn't run it to the ground. We needed a thicker piece to put the plugs in down here. And then we built the TV off the wall. So it sticks off the wall just a little bit. And or it just, it's a chalkboard. And it just kind of <laughs> floats. And traditionally in a movie theater or whatever, you'd always have the speakers on the side or behind the screen. And I just wasn't digging any of those vibes. So we put them up here and they'll angle and shoot out this way. Oh yeah, so, so that you guys can watch your movies and the house be shaking. So we've got that beautiful door and window out to the, the back that we'll probably have to put some type of mm -hmm. screen or drapery about it, uh, but we did. So another one of uh, cool little details. So this space, we put this ginormous tray ceiling in here. Which is typical in a basement, because yeah. you're trying Got to cover duct work up. on both sides. Yeah, so I split work. the duct work so it wasn't as mm -hmm. wide. I put some on that side, some on this side. And then we put these cool square recess trims in, mm -hmm. which are something a little bit different we tried. Mm -hmm. And then did a little bit of a rope lighting. Mm -hmm. It's more of a LED accent light. I don't, right. I don't like the old school term rope lighting. I, yeah, LED accents. So. so the thought is you can dim that down when you're watching a movie, have mm -hmm. just a little bit of accent light. So boom, there you have yeah. it. And then we did do the brick archways and we opted just to paint them and they're painted pure white. Yeah, they look, look great. And then we're still working on the simulator room just a little bit. It steps down about two feet. So mm -hmm. 
10 foot ceiling heights here and 12 foot ceiling heights there. And then we designed this to be a bar top yeah. and searched long and hard mm -hmm. for a cool live edge, almost two inch thick. We ended up going with a walnut piece. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, really it's actually two pieces and we butterflied it here in the middle and we've used the wood. You can see that butterfly joint there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we, we struggled with the posts. We were having three, five posts in there, then building this whole cabinet. And I was like, I really want the wood to be this, the showcase. Mm -hmm. So uh, Patrick, our, our buddy uh, who did the millwork and everything came up with this cool design that we worked with and yep. did this kind of little X pattern. Yep. And then it has a view of your favorite golf course. So yeah. what, what is that? Pebble Beach. Yeah, so we had the local artists that we used at our current home, which is at Edgewood. We did the mural in the foyer, yeah. and his name is Ken, and we worked and collaborated with him and came up with using one of the hoes at Pebble Beach, which I is a golf course that you got to play at when you were 18, right? Yeah. Just graduated from high school and got to go on an amazing trip yeah, out to California. Yeah, one of my most memorable trips, so I just wanted yeah. to bring a little little piece of that. Uh, and Ken, I still remember what I told him, that we were building the house. He's like, for, for a client, right? And I was like, no, it's for us. He's like, what about my mural? <laughs> like, I know, and I do, I do wish that I could take the mural with me because I do love my yeah, floral. Yeah, so somebody floral. else hopefully will get to enjoy that. Yeah. We'll come back when we finish up the, uh, the golf simulator and kind of show yeah, you how Yeah, maybe that. you can give lessons. <laughs> or maybe I can get a lesson, one yeah. of those. Uh, so anyway, we kind of anchored this wall here at the backside mm -hmm. with this cool little bar. And, you know, I think it worked out well. We, we still might put an island in here. I wasn't 100% yeah. sure. So right now it's just here. We put the little arch in and did this cool little four by four tile mm -hmm. with no grout to kind of give it that, that movement. Yeah, we've got the, the Moen faucet it here. has the most perfect gold finish. We look at a lot of finishes yeah, it, in the, what it, is the color of that one called? Gosh, I can't remember what their, their gold, gold is called. Gold, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it emulates an unlacquered brass without being an unlacquered brass. Well, and it has, it's a little bit cleaner line mm -hmm. than some of the faucets upstairs, so it matches our little bit more of a modern vibe down here. We're gonna have our cafe, mm -hmm drawer refrigerator drawers here we're still mm -hmm. debating between white or black so we got the matte that white decision. or the matte yeah. black yeah and then we'll have a little nugget ice machine here yeah and then gretchen's already uh playing with her visual comfort lights to find yeah, the perfect spot got, for those got those fun little lights so i think this will be a great entertaining area so I, I think we're planning on putting a ping pong table in we'll have our big our house sectional you know, facing the, the big TV, TV where yeah. we can watch our, we're big movie watchers. Yeah. Um, watch movies and um, when sports are back on again, we'll, yes. watch, we'll watch sports. Um, and then we have this little area, which is just an additional seating yeah. area. Jason's got some two really cool uh, chairs that you yeah. ordered. Sherpa. Sherpa chairs that are gonna go in here with a small little brown leather worn couch and, and maybe an Eames, and chair. Eames chair. So it really is that kind of fun mid-century mod basement. Yeah. So we did that nice wide white oak banding here. We've kind of got our mid-century mod vibe mm -hmm. here, all the windows, and we'll have looks of the backyard. So I think we're really going to utilize this space down here a lot. So as much as I got my florals and granny chic on the first <laughs> floor, I'm pretty sure this is... It's totally, a good balance, right? It's a good balance. I do love it down here. I think, I think it's great. That's what's great about the house is just um, having spaces that, that speak and we to might, your individual styles. Yeah, and it's all hard space right here right now, so we might need some, some carpets, some draperies to help soften the, uh, the acoustics down here. Yeah. But I'm sure that's coming, so once once the subwoofer so we got a subwoofer right here you know we'll be blaring i'm sure max and the kiddos will have some good fun uh movie nights in here yeah i just need y'all need to be cognizant of my poor hearing <laughs> i already don't have hearing in my left ear so, so yeah we definitely <laughs> will so uh well guys hope you enjoyed the lower level of blackberry so i don't know what's next uh we'll we'll either show you more blackberry we have some other projects too that are yeah. starting and wrapping up and, uh, yeah, we've got some, some spec houses that you guys will want to see finished. Um, 
And, and who knows? Yeah, if people want to see more, you've been given some great behind the scenes. Uh, you've been better at, at it than me lately on Instagram, and, right? Uh, yeah, you can find me on Instagram as Gretchen Black. And I'm Jason Black with Artisan Signature Homes and together we're building, building a better, better South. South.